Joe, you lead by a freaking game. Now, this pick, oh, yeah. our picks, are always brought to you by our good friends over at Home Field Apparel. Use that promo code Rafino Joe for fifteen percent off to uh, of any purchase. Excuse me. So that's Rafino Joe R U F F I N O Rafino Joe for fifteen percent off. Let's go on the left side of the screen here, Joe. This is where we obviously had the most disagreement. Let's get back to this Ohio State and Michigan game. I'm going with Ohio State. You are going with Michigan. Give me your final thoughts on the big rivalry. I just think at the end of the day, defensively, Michigan is just such a physical team up, up front. And I, I can't put stock in a team when I'm, I'm a little shaky on my confidence in their offensive line. I, I really believe that Michigan's defensive line is going to show up and they're going to make a statement. They're going to make a statement early. That's going to be the defining factor in this game is a big sack late in the game, uh, a forced fumble, big stop on third and short. It's going to come. It's going to happen in this game. J.J. McCarthy does not have a passing touchdown the last three weeks. I don't think they need it. I think they do. They're not going to – so listen, they're not going to be able to just run the football down Ohio State's throat to win the football game. They're not going to be able to just rely on the running game to beat Ohio State. I think they'll be fine. I I I, I think that they can – if they need to throw the ball, they can. I understand. JJ's been hurt. Don't read the comments. Well, then, then that's a that's another prop. That if he's hurt, then that goes to the point of why I would pick Ohio State over them, which I am. I am taking Ohio State now. Listen to me, Ohio State fans. If and I am going to tell you this, I have stuck up for you all year long. I put you as one of my four teams in the playoff. Now, Joe, I will admit my four playoff teams, if you remember correctly, and I got ridiculed for it. Georgia, Florida State. LSU and Ohio State. And if I remember correctly, everybody said Blake, Ohio State's going nine and three. Uh, I say no. Chalk usually wins. Well, three of those teams are still in there. Okay. In my playoff prediction. I'm just going to stay with what I believed and what my gut told me in the beginning of the year. I'm not going to go away from it. I'm going to stay with them. I got to tell you this. Everybody keeps telling me, oh, JJ is more tested than McCord. Sure, he's he is more experienced. Tested, I don't know that. Because this kid has gone on the road against Notre Dame and had success. Joe, the throw that he made, all right? I, the, wait. Hold I on. Just don't, okay. The throw that he made against Notre Dame, he – there are – that's really – can I tell you that – that's really and truthfully the last time – that people really paid attention to what he was to what he has become. Because against Penn State, Joe, what did he do against Penn State to win the football game? They could not establish the running game. So what did he do? He goes, well, you know what? I have this guy named Marvin Harrison Jr. Have you ever heard of him? Well, I'm going to keep force-feeding him the ball. By the way, Mbuka was out of that game. Out. I think what I saw last week from the dudes on the outside, at, or meaning defensively, the dudes on the boundary for Michigan defensively, both of those corners, if you're getting exposed by Maryland and Tagovailoa, what makes me believe that Marvin Harrison Jr. They, can't go off? They, they still beat up on – yes, they gave up some plays. They didn't beat they up won on that for, they, they won that football game because they got after Talia Tagovailoa. Kyle McCord is not near, not even close in the same hemisphere as elusive as Talia Tagovailoa. That is Talia Tagovailoa's best trait. And they rallied his ass and they brought him down. The Kyle McCord's not that, going anywhere. Joe, is Kyle McCord's going to get sacked five plus times in this game. I'm telling you right now, five plus times. Book it. Write it down. Elks, you write that down too. Okay. Let me turn on the. Chat. Let me flip that, that on you. Okay. Let me flip that on you. You ready? Why did Michigan get away from throwing the football against Penn State? They were at. But okay, here's the even biggest part. Though. Everyone keeps. Wait, 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 wait. Everyone keeps bringing up to answer. me that they can't pass block. Everyone keeps bringing that up to me. I, I don't think but, people are saying they can't pass block, but I do think that the best defense that they saw, the right side of that offensive line, crumbled quicker 
than me when I see a brownie on a, on a, a warm brownie on the well, plate. Look at how many points that they put up when they said, you know what, this isn't working. We're going to just run the football. There's not that many teams the in the country that, that can do that. Go, the problem. They're the only team in the country that can do that. can say that we're just going to run the ball 15 straight times against bullshit. a good defensive Georgia line. Georgia can do it. Okay, maybe Georgia. I, I, I think that, that that performance, when they needed to run the ball and pick up yards, that to me is proof that if J.J. plays like shit and if they get beat up and he gets sacked a couple of times, they can just flip the switch. We're going to run the football downhill. We can't ignore the, what they do. They're not going to do that on Ohio State. They can't. They're not. Let me tell they're you. They're not why. mountains ahead. They're not like incredibly better than. Penn I didn't State's say that. I didn't say that they were. But what happened against Penn State? Eventually, that defense broke. Why? Because offensively, Drew Aller and that offense could not sustain first downs. Guess who can? I don't know. I don't think that that's a four. I haven't seen play from Kyle McCord to believe that he is going to play a consistent game i still re- i still have a you bad had, taste in my mouth from the wisconsin similar game. opponent you have a similar opponent in penn state that they played against what do you call and, the wisconsin game though it was it, that's not a similar opponent because wisconsin's worse but, he played but, like but shit glowing one game that he had where he had two interceptions he's done oh, this in multiple games though and i know that oh, jj okay, hasn't been great but we're acting like he's so game. steady and consistent he's so not if you're gonna use the wisconsin game then you're gonna also have to put on the on his shoulders than him throwing a fade route in the back of the end zone in crunch time to win the football game. Look, look he can do oh, some nice. Th- no, 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 no. Uh, he can do some nice things. He's fine, but like we can't act like. I just don't think it's fair, and I know I don't think you're doing it deliberately, but it's something that keeps getting brought up. He's not better than JJ. Where did I ever say that he was? But one guy, had, if I would have told you, if I would have put you in a coma four weeks ago and I would I would just woken you up and I would have said, hey, out of Kyle McCord and J.J. McCarthy, one of those quarterbacks does not have a passing touchdown the last three weeks, who would you have said? J.J. McCarthy, because one plays on a more run-centric team than the other. The other one has Marvin Harrison Jr. One what of them is – that, that would be insane to believe that Marvin Harrison Jr. and Mecca wouldn't have a, re- you, uh, a receiving touchdown. Do you really touchdowns. believe that and you would have come this show and said, that's bullshit, you're lying, that you would have what? said that them going up against Penn State on the road, if J.J. McCarthy doesn't have a passing touchdown, that they would win. You know that you're lying on that. I, I would say that that's not crazy because they – all right, we're, we're, we're hanging on this game too much. We're recycling the old debate from Monday. We're, we're, we're going to disagree. I will say this. If you're going to give McCord the Wisconsin interceptions, then what are you going to do with McCarthy and Bowling Green? That was at the beginning of the season. He played like shit. And I'm not just pinpointing just the Wisconsin game. He, Joe, that's the only games that he has interceptions in. I'm not just like sitting here pinpointing interceptions. He's going to throw a ton of interceptions. I'm just saying that I've seen games this year where he hasn't played great. And both of them have games where they haven't played great. So if we're coming into a game where two quarterbacks haven't played great and are very inconsistent, and both of them theoretically could play poorly because of the defensive lines that they're facing, I'm going to rely on the team with the offense, with the better offensive line that can run the ball more effectively. They don't have the better offensive line. All right, agree to disagree. I'll make a small little bet with you, Reading. What? I guarantee you... Or I bet you that – say his name again. You know how bad I am with names. J.J. T.T. J.J. Kuamoylao. Thank you. I bet you he leads the game, the, the team in, or the game in sacks. I bet you he has two of them. And I bet you he's going to come off the right side of Michigan's offensive line and he's going to get destroyed. Uh, I'm not going to take that bet because this is All probably right. going to happen. Okay. Just as much as you think McCord's going to get sacked – I think that JJ can, and especially if he's got a bum ankle, that means he can't run, which is bullshit. They say he's got a bum ankle. That's bullshit because the kid's been running the last three weeks. That's horse manure. I will say this, that you're not giving enough credit on Marvin Harrison and Abuka. I've seen Michigan against better wide receivers struggle on the boundary. I'm telling you, I, I don't. We'll Marvin see. Harrison going to go up with one hand. He's going to come down with Odell Beckham, that bitch. He's done that all year. We'll see. We'll see right. if that's enough. Buckeyes, I, Joe, I swear to God, 
I have a Buckeye shirt. I got sent it from a Buckeye fan. I told you to wear it. You didn't wear it. I'm not wearing it. Oh. If Ohio State loses, I am burning it live on Facebook or YouTube or wherever. I'm going to burn it. I can't wait for that. All right. Auburn, Alabama. Well, Auburn versus Alabama, I should say. We're both going with Bama here. Ole Miss, Mississippi State, we're both going with the Rebs. We just got done talking about this game, Joe. Florida State and Florida, any one of those three that you want to uh, touch on before we go to the rest? No, I think that it's pretty clear where we're talking about here with those those two games, pretty kind of lopsided, where Auburn not nearly as successful as Alabama this year. Ole Miss so much better than Mississippi State. Uh, and then we know my thoughts. I, I don't think that – I think that Florida State's going to continue to win. Uh, I think that they need this win badly. I think that the team's going to rally around him. They were able to throw him into the mix against a bad opponent, which was helpful. I, I think that they're going to really come and, and pick up uh, Tate Roadmaker and help win this game. Oregon, Oregon State, both of us going with the Ducks. Georgia, Georgia Tech, we're both going Georgia. Joe, a team that we have not talked about really at all this year, Kentucky at Louisville. Mm -hmm. um, we're both going Louisville. Dude, I, I am telling you, Louisville is a team that I love watching play. Now, I will admit, you told me last week that I convinced you to take Louisville and you were pissed off and they came back. And I, I was mostly joking. I was you just, were not joking. You were pissed. Well, I wasn't pissed. I was joking and it was it was mostly like, why did I listen to you? Because now the Miami fans are going to come come right back at me. Um, I, I believe in them, though, this week. I, I don't think that Kentucky is it matches up well with Louisville. And I think it's a good either. opportunity to, you know, add to the resume. So they will beat another SEC or beat a SEC team. It's. Nice spot for them to to boost that resume. And look, they still have an outside chance to make the playoff. People don't believe in it. Possible. But it's highly possible that that could happen. One final thing on that game for me. Louisville likes to run the football. And I saw a really good defensive line last week in Maryland really stifle Louisville in the run game. Kentucky Joe is top eight in the country in run defense. If there's one thing, look, they are bad everywhere else. Like, really bad everywhere else. Go watch their D-line play. Dude, they are freaking really good. Yeah. i got to give Stoops that. We're both taking Louisville. And then both of us are taking Texas here, Joe. Final thoughts on that one. Um, I could see this game being close. I just I just think that Texas is going to win it. Uh, I think that there's too much on the line for them. If they lose, it's going to be in the Big 12 championship game. Brett Yermick or your check? Your mark. Uh, your mark. There you go. Um, the Big 12 uh, commissioner, remember what he said in the beginning of the year in Big 12 media days? Do you remember? I think I do. He remember he talked to, he or maybe it wasn't at media days. Maybe it was at a Texas Tech thing. He said, I'm going to be at that Texas Tech, Texas game when it's the last regular season game for Texas. And I hope he told me, he's talking to McGuire, the head coach of Texas Tech. He goes, I hope y'all win that game. I'm going to tell you something. That would be great. <laughs> it would not surprise me. If there's some if favorable they, calls. If some very favorable calls goes Texas Tech's way. That uh, would be hilarious. I think that'd be no, hilarious. You know what it wouldn't? No, it wouldn't. Because I am not in the camp of hosting right, Tech. Fair, you know what fair, I mean? Like, fair, I, I, it's fair. But it would be funny. It would be funny, but at the same time, it would really piss yeah, me off. Yeah. Uh, 